Taiwan should not expect U.S. military support in a conflict with China. An interesting comment came during a briefing by Pentagon spokesman John F. Kirby when asked by a journalist what the coordination between Japan and the United States would be if China decided to invade Taiwan. The question surprised the press secretary, and he had to explain in a little more detail what the relations with Taiwan are. I'll let the Japanese government speak to their comments. What I would tell you is nothing has changed about our policy with respect to Taiwan. We continue to observe the one China policy and recognize that, by the three communique, the six assurances, and of course the Taiwan Relations Act. We also remain committed to helping Taiwan defend itself. Again, with bipartisan support over many decades from Congress on that. Nothing's changed about that. And the last thing I'd say is nobody wants to see the situation dissolve into conflict, and there's no reason for it to. So we're focused on making sure Taiwan can continue to defend itself. And obviously, separate and distinct from Taiwan altogether, the secretaries made clear that, that in the Indo-Pacific region, we've got to continue to pursue what he calls integrated deterrence, which is about netting our capabilities and our, our resources together across the joint force but also working with our allies and partners, and that certainly includes Japan, South Korea, Australia. Many other partners in the region were Kirby's words. Things might have ended better if the same journalist had not asked a second question about the political coordination of communications for Taiwan between the United States and Japan. Kirby was again surprised by the question and became confused, having to explain that relations and close military cooperation between Japan and the United States have not changed, but the United States does not want a conflict in the Pacific.